Hey Jonesy Babes and Anonymous Jonesy Babes, welcome back to my channel. So listen, I have this quick little story that I want to tell you, and it's about Stephen Stearns. Now, last night, you know, I was on my phone looking at some things on TikTok, excuse the background noise, and I came across this video, it was about Stephen Stearns. And a girl and a guy was talking to somebody that was interviewing them, and they was asking questions about him. Well, honey, the girl said that Stefan and his family are some sketchy people, right? So I wrote down, you know, everything that I needed to hear. So here goes. Listen up. A mutual friend was going through hard times. This is the guy telling the, the interviewer. And he needed a cheap place to live. So he moved in with Stefan. He was Stefan's roommate. So a year passed and they had a falling out. So he convinced the friend to tell him what happened. Like, what happened? Why did you guys have a falling out? So the friend said, hey, this is what happened. He was cleaning up the network, right? And found a shared folder between their computers. Now the friend is an IT whiz. He is good with computers. So, you know, I guess he was just looking through and cleaning up what he had to clean up. And he found that. So he found out that Stefan was secretly hiding a camera in his room and recording his girlfriend coming in and out of the shower. And that he also had some kid stuff as well on there. Okay. So, I guess... The guy and Stefan got into it. The mother found out. The guy said Stefan mom paid off the friend to keep his mouth shut, to not talk about it, right? And so he stopped and then the girl started talking. And the girl is the ex-girlfriend of the roommate. So she said that she was the one that said that Stefan and his family are some sketchy people. She said it was her, Stefan, and Kevin. So Kevin is her ex-boyfriend. He was the roommate. They were at a restaurant having dinner. And they wasn't expecting anyone, especially not the mom. So the mom came to the restaurant. She sat down next to Kevin and told him. No, well, she handed him some, you know, an envelope. I guess it was money inside. And said, Here you go. Now keep your mouth shut. So the girl said she didn't know what that was about, but she said she heard that Stefan was dating a 14-year-old girl at the time. So I guess that's what he told her. You know, Kevin and Stefan, they were roommates, and she was the one that was dating Kevin. So then the so two days after that incident, Kevin moved out. And the guy friend, you know, told Kevin, hey, take the money and still report them. Well, the guy said, I guess he took the money, but he didn't report them. So here's my thing. The mom knew he had issues. His father knew he had issues. I think they both knew he had issues. And when he got with Jennifer... It wasn't because he really loved Jennifer and wanted to be with her. It was because of Maddie. That's my opinion. He was he wanted Jennifer because of Maddie. Okay? And the way he could get to Maddie was through Jennifer. Oh, he could act like the nicest boyfriend. But he got his eyes set on Maddie. That's who he really wanted. Let me tell you guys something. When his trial happened, that trial is going to be something else. I'm still reading documents. Okay, I'm on page, what, 110? There's oh, it's like over 500 pages. Yeah, over 500 pages of documents that I received and I'm reading through everything. Warrants and all types of stuff, pictures. and I mean, it's a lot. It's mind-blowing. And that trial is going to be something else. 
they are going to show stuff. I'm not sure what they're going to show, but if you read the documents, oh my God, it's just sickening. It's just sickening. Did you guys see the body cam footage where, you know, when he was, um, he had to take off his clothes and it was looking down below. They were looking for like a freckle or something because in the video, they, Maddie is in the video and you can only imagine, just, just think and you know what I'm talking about because I don't want to say it. Maddie was in the video, but his face wasn't in the video, just down below. So they trying to, they were trying to identify marks, okay, and little freckles and stuff like that from the videos. I'm going to tell you something. This is some sick stuff. He is sick. He is sick. Now, do I think Jen Soto played a big hand in this? Oh, of course. She's not innocent at all. But I did hear. I'm not sure how true this is. I'm still doing some research. I heard that she has partial immunity. And that she's in some type of mental institution <sighs> mm. Mm -mm -mm. see people like him they don't need a trial they need to go ahead and just put him on death row get him out of here you know what I'm saying because this is horrible that's a child. She just turned 13. But guess what? He was bothering her. And you know what I mean by bothering? He was bothering her for years. He was bothering her for a while. It's just sickening. But yeah, that's what I heard on TikTok. Okay, so I'm not sure if you guys heard about that. But that's what I heard. I have a whole lot more to come through and talk to you guys about. So... I'm going to let you guys hold on to this for a second because I have another video about another roommate. Yeah. Man, listen. I really wish I didn't stop and take a break from this case when I first started talking about it because I would have been halfway caught up. But it's okay. By the time the trial get here, I should be caught up on everything. Um, but it just got to me. You know, hearing this stuff about a little girl... An innocent little girl, a child, a man is messing with a child. It just, it just gets to you. And if it doesn't, something wrong. You know what I'm saying? Something is wrong if it don't bother you. But anyway, that's, that's all I have at the moment. So, well, I got more, but this is all I'm going to talk about right now. I'll be back probably, if not tonight, maybe tomorrow. All right. Talk to me in the comment section. Have a good one.